and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Marketplace PayPal Commerce and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the front end workflow of this particular payment method how the customers would be able to make a payment for the orders using the PayPal itself apart from that we'll also be showing you the seller and configuration how the sellers would be able to set up their uh, PayPal and how they can accept the payments using the same and uh, lastly we'll also be showing you the model configuration basically that is required for this particular plugin to work and how the admin can enable this and set up uh, the marketplace paypal commerce itself and uh, we'll also be showing you how to create the api credentials that are required for the paypal commerce and how they can then be basically added in the module configuration settings in the admin backend panel so uh, before we proceed further to the web store front end to check the uh, workflow of this particular PayPal commerce for the WooCommerce multi-vendor marketplace. So uh, before that, let me give you a small brief about this uh, plugin itself. So uh, basically this plugin allows the WooCommerce multi-vendor store owners to integrate the marketplace PayPal commerce payment method within their stores. The customers having a PayPal account can easily make a payment for their purchases and uh, it also allows the customers to place an order with multiple vendor products within the cart itself and uh, the admin can also process the refunds for the customers and uh, the uh, amount is basically transferred back into the customers paypal account so uh, no needs to worry about the uh, payment that the customers had made for an order and uh, this simplifies the uh, refund process as well so uh, let's go to the web store front end and let's place in uh, uh, order uh, and uh, let's see how this particular PayPal uh, multi vendor marketplace uh, plugin uh, or the uh, payment plugin works at the front front end for the customers so let's go to the front end now so here I am at the uh, WooCommerce marketplace uh, web store as you can see right now so what I'll be doing is I'll be first logging into my customer account and thereafter we'll be adding a few products into my cart and then we'll be making a checkout and we'll be using basically the uh, marketplace uh, PayPal commerce uh, payment method for making the payment for our uh, order so let me tap on the login button and this will log me into my customer account so I've logged into my account so let me go ahead and let me go to the uh, shop page and let's add a few products and uh, thereafter we'll be placing the order so let me add this fine ninja and uh, we'll be adding ninja suit and the patient ninja into my account into my card basically and thereafter i'll be tapping the checkout or the wave card button before we proceed uh, further for making the payment itself so you can see that uh, uh the seller is marked door right now and uh, the card total is 47 dollars so basically we have uh, two different uh, products and uh, that two are from two different sellers basically so here we have the seller mark door and then we have the john door so as separately we can see the card totals for each of them so uh, the customer can process the checkout separately as uh, this particular module supports the split card payment method so uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll be processing the checkout now so right now we'll do our thing we'll be proceeding with the uh, first uh, order that we have for the mark door so I'll tap on the proceed to checkout button and this will navigate us to the checkout page itself. So uh, our address details are already uh, added and on the right hand side you can see the uh, product and its uh, subtotal and at the payment methods here you can see that we have uh, marketplace PayPal commerce. So here we'll choose it up and uh, now we can tap the place order button to make our payment using the PayPal commerce itself. So now after we have play, uh, tapped on the proceed to checkout button there, uh, we can see that we have our, are now redirected to the PayPal itself. Now here the uh, user just needs to log into his particular PayPal account and for that he needs to enter his username and the password. So let me go ahead and let me uh, enter my password as well and let me tap on the login button. Now here you can see the marketplace PayPal commerce is there and here we have 47 US dollars. Uh, that needs to be uh, uh, paid for this particular order and we also have the ship to details here as you can see and apart from that right now you can see that we can pay with the uh, credit or 
uh, credit cards as well we can also add debit or credit card as per our own requirement so i'll just go ahead and i'll be uh, choosing the first one that's the visa credit card and i'll be tapping on the pay now button and now you can see that the order has been received and here we have the order number email total and the payment method is marketplace paypal commerce so uh, as uh, we know that this particular module also supports the uh, split card and now we can also make a checkout uh, by uh, tapping on the go to cart uh, link here because we had two different uh, products from two different uh, sellers there so right now let me take you to the uh, account section first and let's see the order details and uh, now here i'll just go to my orders and then under the orders here you can see that we have the order details and uh, and here you can see that the uh, status uh, for the uh, particular order that we have placed is uh, the status is pending payment right now and from here we can also view the details of this particular order that we have just placed and here you can see that uh, the order details are there and the payment method is also vis visible here as you can see that's the marketplace paypal uh, commerce uh, now let's go ahead and let's uh, place the uh, order for the other seller as well so i'll just tap on the uh, checkout button here and from here i'll just select this marketplace paypal commerce i'll tap on the place order button and now we'll be redirected to the uh, paypal itself to the uh, paypal uh, system and here you can see that we have the marketplace paypal commerce uh, the amount to be paid is 20 dollars and let me go ahead and let me tap on the pay now button and that would uh, complete my payment for this particular order so the order has been received as you can see right now and all orders have also been uh, completed and now uh, let's go to the uh, my account section and then we'll navigate to the orders and now you can see the other order as well so here's the order 236 pending payment for uh, 47 dollars and then we have uh, june 2 and uh, the total was 20 dollars and it's uh, the state of this particular order is right now as processing so uh, here we can also tap on the pay button to complete the payment uh, pending payment that you can see and here i'll select the marketplace paypal commerce and i'll tap on the pay for the order so it's within the uh, checkout there and now uh, on the uh, paypal end we'll just tap on the pay now button to complete the uh, payment for this uh, particular product as well so uh, actually uh, while i was making that checkout there uh, i just forgot to select that particular one so uh, all right now let me go to the uh, my account section and there i'll just go to the orders and on the orders we can now see that uh, all right so we're done with the payment here now uh, let me take you to the admin backend panel and uh, let me show you these uh, particular uh, orders that we have just placed uh, so uh, the customer just placed those orders now let's go to the backend and let's see how the admin would be able to check these particular orders so here i'm at the backend i'll tap on the login button to uh, access the admin account for the woocommerce marketplace uh, web store so as soon as i've logged in i can see my dashboard and from here i need to go to woocommerce and then tap on the orders sub menu option and that brings up the complete list of orders that have just been placed so here you can see that uh, we have order number 236 and 239 and the uh, status is processing and pending payment right now and uh, also let me uh, tell you that uh, this uh, particular plugin also uh, allows us to have a disbursement uh, mode and wherein uh, the module provides two different disbursement modes that can be used by the admin in order to share the payment amongst the seller and the admin itself and the two modes are instant and delayed and within the instant uh, if the admin selects the disbursement method as instant then the payment will get transferred to the sellers and the admin just after the order has been placed and after the uh, completion of the order the seller would also be able to see the transaction on their paypal account and in the delayed one uh, if the admin selects the disbursement mode as delayed then the payment would get holded 
at PayPal end after that uh, the admin will release the amount and it will get transferred to the seller and the commission would then be transferred to the admins account so uh, basically this was uh, how uh, the customer can basically place the orders using the marketplace PayPal commerce uh, there and now uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll be uh, logging into the seller account and let's see how the sellers would be able to configure uh, the uh, uh, the PayPal payment account from their uh, account panel so now I'll be logging into my seller account and I'll just tap on the log login button after ending entering my vendor details so after I've logged into my account here uh, you can see on the left hand side we have the marketplace uh, dashboard and uh, and thereafter we uh, navigate through the sellers profile and uh, for that I'll just tap on the seller profile me uh, a uh, link here on the left hand side and this brings up the uh, profile section of the seller itself and here at the end we need to set up the marketplace PayPal commerce details and here we'll be entering uh, the PayPal commerce ID and after that we just need to tap on the update button to save the changes and uh, that would basically uh, connect our account to this particular app at the PayPal itself so uh, finally after that the uh, after setting this up the sellers would be able to receive the payments using the marketplace PayPal commerce so now let's go to the admin backend uh, panel and let's see what different uh, configuration options are there for the admin to configure and uh, for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now so I'll just log into my admin backend panel and uh, thereafter I'll navigate to WooCommerce and uh, then we'll tap on the uh, settings sub menu option and that would take us to the uh, backend configuration for this uh, particular plugin so here uh, we need to navigate to the uh, payments tab under the settings so WooCommerce settings and then to the payment tab and here we can see all of the uh, payment methods so here we have the marketplace PayPal commerce so here I'll just tap on the uh, manage button so after after you have successfully installed this particular plugin you can find the marketplace PayPal commerce payment option under the uh, payments tab and let's go through each of these uh, options uh, that are required uh, uh, for the initial configuration of the module before making the use uh, of the same within your uh, WooCommerce marketplace store so basically here uh, the admin can check this particular option here uh, to enable or disable uh, the payment method and uh, the admin can set up the title as well and this would be visible to the users during the uh, checkout uh, process then we have the uh, description and here the admin basically can enter the description uh, the, uh, that is visible to the users during the checkout itself then we have the note to the peer and this note will be visible to the payee in the PayPal commerce transaction details section then we have the uh, partner attribute uh, attribution ID so uh, uh, when a seller has uh, or the admin has uh, become a partner or the uh, PayPal partner then he'll be getting the attribution ID merchant ID and the account email as well so uh, you just need to uh, set up the partner attribution ID here and this uh, and the PayPal sends on the uh, mail ID basically where the admin adds uh, uh, where the admin can add by while creating an account with the PayPal itself and you just need to uh, enter those details for the merchant ID and the account email the admin must follow the given path uh, to uh, gather the merchant and the account uh, email so for that you just need to uh, log into your PayPal developer account initially and thereafter you'll have to navigate through the sandbox account account name and then tap on the view edit account uh, and then we, you'll be landed on the account details section so let me show you that so after you've logged into your uh, sandbox account you just need to navigate to the account details section and here under your profile section you'll find your email ID and uh, you can also find your account ID as you can see here and uh, then you just need to enter those details here uh, within the backend configuration then for the environment you can choose it as live for the production mode otherwise for testing you can choose it as sandbox mode then you have the disbursement uh, method instant or delayed as I've uh, already explained the instant and delayed thing then we have the client ID and the client secret 
so uh, after you have uh, basically created an account with the PayPal you'll get the client ID and uh, the same the client secret ID would also be uh, found in the same section where you get the client ID and the client secret key uh, under your PayPal account itself then after that you just need to tap on the save changes button to configure completely uh, your module in the first place and uh, now uh, let me take you to the section that's uh, how we can create the uh, API credentials for the PayPal commerce so for that I'll just take you uh, to the front end first so you just need to uh, navigate to the PayPal commerce platform we've already given the uh, details for the same uh, here within the blog itself so you just need to uh, tap here on the PayPal commerce platform onboarding page and this will navigate you to this particular page on the uh, PayPal for the mark uh, for the platforms and the marketplaces so here you just need to tap on the contact us button thereafter you just need to fill these complete details here and after you fill in these details uh, I'll just uh, show you that after tapping on the contact us you just need to enter these particular details and uh, you'll be basically registered and then you can tap here on the link to login and this would basically bring up the uh, login page with the PayPal itself as you can see and then you can navigate to the my apps and the credential on the left hand side panel and then you need, just need to create an app here and you just need to tap on the create app button and thereafter uh, the user will enter the application details like the app name and whether you want to set it as uh, the sandbox business account or not and thereafter uh, you just need to tap on the create app button here and what that will do is that would create your recurring profile as you can see and here you will find your sandbox account the client ID and uh, then you can also tap on the generate uh, new secret key to generate your secret as well as you can see here within this particular snapshot here we have the client ID and here we have the uh, secret key so uh, basically that was how uh, this plugin works that was the workflow and I showed you how the customers can place the orders using this particular plugin and uh, how the admin can also check the orders apart from that I also showed you how the sellers would be able to configure their uh, PayPal commerce uh, there within the account panel so as to accept the payments from the customers and I showed you how we can get the app ID and the uh, credentials there that are required for the admin backend panel and uh, I just showed you how we can do that so uh, if you have uh, still have any uh, queries or questions regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead